I've been working in tuberculosis research for the last 10 years. I'm a pediatrician by training and I was always attracted by you know, the, the crux that this is a very old disease and yet we're not really making that much progress with new tools to diagnose it, to treat it and to prevent it. And our work really is centred in all three of those areas. So in terms of diagnosis, we're very interested in new biomarkers for tuberculosis and we're trying to validate some new tests for children and have studied some about 200 children in London, validating the use of new assays that have come out for adults initially, but not every assay that works in adults will also work in children. On the uh, therapeutic front, uh, we're treating a number of children with tuberculosis in London and obviously also overseas, and there's not that many new drugs that have been used in children. And on the prevention side, I'm very much involved in evaluate, evaluating new to, uh, TB vaccines for children. I guess the goals of the Wellcome Centre are to translate the science that we have in the laboratory to the benefit of patients in developing countries or resource less, less resourceful countries. And my work has really given me the opportunity to work in both resourceful as well as in the resource limited settings. And that's really set me up very nicely to sort of see some priorities because it's very nice to have, you know, expensive and difficult, technically very demanding laboratory research. But if that's not translatable into patient care where it's most needed, then maybe uh, that is not going to be so useful in the long term. And the Wellcome Centre has sort of a position in the middle because it will sponsor excellence in bench research, but it's also interested in translating those findings to the bedside. Well, tuberculosis is an old disease and the microbacteria are very lazy organisms so only divide like once a day and whenever I've applied for grant funding I've always said you have to give me longer time because the bacteria are very lazy it will take us a while to, to uh, get to grips with this problem. Obviously we're looking into as far as the vaccine development is concerned the next 10 years as far as new diagnostics are concerned I would hope that we'd be a bit quicker but on the global scale I think we're in for the longer run and you're probably aware of the Millennium Goals and the Stop TB plan that should really make some big improvements in the way we can deal with TB, which of course some of these ways have been antagonized by the HIV epidemic, so they are diseases that go together and a lot of these diseases are poverty related and that is a much bigger spectrum.